Hello, I'm Andre, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create fluid simulations using the Blender Flip Fluids add-on. And at the end of this video I'm going to show you how you can get the Flip Fluids add-on for completely free. So now we're going to jump into Blender, and I assume you already have your Flip Fluids add-on installed. If not, and you want to get it, you can jump to the end of this video where you can see how to get the add-on. If you don't know how to install add-ons, you can always go to my last video where I show you how to install the Molecular Simulation add-on. Now we're going to create quite a simple fluid simulation to start off with, and we're going to use the default cube to create our fluid domain. I'm going to select the cube and scale it up. Great, that looks good. Now we can hit create domain. Nice, our domain has been created. This domain is where all the fluid objects will sit inside. Let's add some fluid. It's in a, let's add in a sphere, move this up, scale it up, and hit fluid. Nice, our fluid's been created and we can hit bake to see the fluid. Great, let's stop that now. That should be enough to see if this works. And perfect, look at that. We have our fluid flowing very nicely. Now, you might want your fluid to interact with another object in the scene. For this, we're going to use a obstacle. Let's add in a monkey. We'll scale up our monkey and rotate him. We're gonna to need to go over to flip fluid, type and select obstacle. Now in Flip Fluid, you'll notice there's two tabs. We have this quick tab right here called Flip Fluids. This allows you to access commonly used settings. To get more detailed settings, you'll want to go into this tab here. This is the Physics Properties tab, and in here you'll see more detailed settings for each of the different objects in your scene, such as your domain and your fluid. Let's run the simulation now. Okay, great, so I'm gonna stop this simulation now so we can see what it looks like. And we can see that the fluid is interacting with this object. Now, one of the main features of Flip Fluids is its impressive white water simulation. Let's check out how we can simulate white water particles using Flip Fluids. We're going to select the domain in the Physics Properties tab, we can scroll down and select Flip Fluids White Water and enable the White Water Simulation. Basic mode is OK, and I find that the default settings look great. We'll reset the simulation. And we should note that enabling White Water Simulation does slow the simulation down significantly. And we can stop this. Now you can see there are particles that have been added to this water, and you can see that these particles interact with the scene. Right now you might be noticing that this water looks quite low resolution. This is because of our domain simulation grid. You can see the resolution is quite low. To improve the simulation quality, we can increase the resolution. By increasing the resolution, we slow down the simulation. Down here, we can see a count of the voxels in our grid. The more voxels, the slower the simulation will run. We can visualize the grid down here. The 255 resolution grid should be good. One way you can boost simulation quality without slowing down your render is to decrease the size of your domain. I'm going to do that as well. Right now, you can see the voxel count is decreasing. Now I have disabled the debug grid. I'm going to reset the simulation and start our final bake. This is probably going to take some time. So I let this simulate overnight and now we can see our final high quality simulation. If I try to play this back, you can see that this will run very slowly. To fix this, we can go up to the flip fluid settings properties and change the white water display to none and the surface display to preview. Now we have much smoother fluid simulation. Now we shall add in a ground plane and scale this up. Now let's try adding some materials. 
to our fluid. To see our materials, we need to set the viewport shading to rendered. We shall go to the render properties and set the rendering engine to cycles. This will give us a more realistic result. Let's go and remove the default light and replace it with an area light. And we'll just rotate this area light up just to give us a better visualization of what we're working with. We'll also increase the power so we can see everything. This is looking great. Now, if you're using the paid version of the plugin, it will come with a bunch of material assets that you can use. I'm going to use the volumetric ocean water. If you don't have the paid version of the plugin, you can always add a material to the object, just like how you would normally. After you render out your animation, you should get something a little bit like this. Now, the part that you've probably been waiting for, how to get the Blender Flip Fluids add-on for free. Because Flip Fluids is open source, it means we can actually compile the plugin ourselves. After you do this, you'll have essentially the full plugin for completely free. So we can jump over to the GitHub page, which is linked in the description. Now we can start looking at how to compile this add-on for free. First, we need to install some dependencies which are listed on the GitHub page. The first dependency we need to install is CMake. Press Windows button and then R and type in CMD. This will open up the command prompt. To install CMake, all you have to do is type in winget install CMake and hit enter. You'll be prompted to install CMake. Let this finish installing and we can move on to the next step. Next, we need to install GNU-make. To do this, simply type in winget install gnu win32.make. After you hit enter, this program will be installed. Last but not least, type in winget install python3 to install our final dependency. Once that's done, we can head back over to the GitHub page and press download zip. This will download the file, and after that's complete, you can open that. All I'm going to do is extract this into its own folder. Once that's extracted, we can go into the folder with all the files and copy the path from the top bar. Now let's go back to the command prompt and type in cd and then paste in the path. Now type in dir and make sure all the files are there. Should look something like this. Now, all you need to do is type in, in python build.py and press enter. In a couple of minutes, your flip fluids add-on should be completely compiled. Once it tells you it has successfully compiled, all you need to do is open up that Blender flip fluids folder and you should see a new folder called build. Open up this folder and inside you should see another folder called BL flip fluids. Open this up, there's another folder Flip Fluids add-on, and inside here is your add-on. Now to turn this into an add-on that Blender can install, we simply right-click and press Compress to Zip File. And that's it, your add-on successfully created. You can install this in Blender just like any other add-on. Great job making it to the end of the video, and if you found this helpful, maybe you should consider subscribing or liking the video.